Donald Trump's chief financial officer is expected to plead guilty to tax violations later in a deal that would require him to testify about alleged illicit business practices at the former president's company. Authorities have launched a series of investigations into Mr. Trump and his businesses. Alan Wilsberg is charged with taking more than $1.7 million in off-the-books compensation from the Trump Organization over several years. A plea would involve Wieselberg possibly serving as a witness when the Trump Organization goes on trial in October on related charges. That's according to insiders. Trump has not been charged in the criminal probe and has denounced the investigations as a political witch hunt. Well, for more on these stories, let's bring in a rise U.S. correspondent, Eric Harm, who joins us from Washington. Eric, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. Now, tell us more about this affidavit and why it's proven crucial to supporters of both President Biden and Donald Trump. Well, based on who is actually pushing for the affidavit to be released, it seems like this would actually support the media companies that actually want to see this released. We're expecting to uh, get these proceedings underway within the hour. And we know that right now, based on the arguments that the Justice Department will be making for not releasing the affidavit, they're making a very, very strong case. In fact, many of the media companies themselves that are actually pushing for the release believe that the judge will actually side with the Justice Department. The Justice Department is making the claim that there are sensitive and national security implications if, in fact, the document is released. In addition to that, they believe their investigation will be irreparably harmed because it will basically give away information, sensitive information in the investigation. In addition, they also believe that uh, it will taint or somehow uh, cause problems for uh, past defendants who have provided uh, testimony as well as potential future uh, defendants who will provide testimony because of how these individuals have been treated. We saw how FBI officials have been threatened as a result of their names being leaked by uh, uh, key uh, media organizations uh, of Trump supporters. And so those are many of the concerns that the Justice Department is making. In fact, many of the media companies that want this document released believe that the Justice Department has both sound reasons and that it's a sound case as to why they will not, they don't want this affidavit release. Well, we have not heard from President, former President Trump or his support or his, his legal team as to whether or not they support the release of the affidavit. So it's now in the hands of the judge. And many believe that the judge actually will rule with the Justice Department on this issue. All right. And the Justice Department says it's releasing the affidavit and would irreparably uh, damage the ongoing criminal investigation. What is it that they're afraid of? The Justice Department is afraid that this could damage their case, which is why they don't want to see it released. Remember, the, the media wants to see this released because they want greater transparency. They, of course, want to learn more about what about why or what the argument was the Justice Department made to a judge about this potential criminal probe. But again, the Justice Department is attempting to try to put together a case. In addition to that, the Justice Department has already impaneled and convened a grand jury. In the United States, grand jury testimony and proceedings are actually secret. And so to release this information would actually unveil that. And so that's another argument that the Justice Department is using in its, in its argument as to why it does not want these documents released. All right, Eric. Now, turning to Mike Pence's consideration of testifying before the House Committee on the January 6th Capitol riot. Can you unpack what's going on with that? Yeah, basically what Mike Pence is saying is if asked to provide testimony, uh, that would be a no, that he would not do it. We have already heard from former senior officials who work directly for Mike Pence who have provided testimony, including his former white, his former chief of staff. But clearly what the what the vice president, former vice president was saying was that these are separate branches of government and that the Constitution also uh, allows for how these investigations should be conducted. Now, where the president, where the former vice president, I think, did run into some trouble where he said it would be unprecedented to actually provide testimony of a sitting for, uh, of a vice president. 
Well, of course, if we go back to Watergate, we do know that the vice president under uh, Richard Nixon actually did provide testimony to the committee uh, in that instance. So it's not an actually unprecedented because we have actually seen this before. But, I, but again, I think what we are seeing here is he, while he says he would consider it, that doesn't mean that's going to get him closer to an actual yes and providing testimony to the committee. And also at this point and at this time, uh, it, has been, it has not been made clear to us, and I've spoken with a number of my sources with the January 6th uh, investigation, uh, it's, not, it's not clear that they believe that his testimony is even needed at this time. So it's not clear that they would even invite him to testify. Our rise U.S. correspondent, Eric Ham, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.